next guest knows a lot about writing her next chapter. Ja'Kalen Carr is a shining star in the world of gospel music. She has a voice that hits you right here, yeah. right there. It inspires and a spirit that uplifts people all around the world. Her journey started at a very young age and she's since become a symbol of unwavering faith through her music and her gift. And now she's releasing her first album in four years, self-titled, Ja'Kalen. Damn, bam! Help me welcome multifaceted, award-winning, Grammy-nominated gospel superstar, Ja'Kalen! hear that. Oh. I know you feel that. Wow. But it's extra. It's, it's, Thank but, you. I'm going to let everybody over there host the show uh. because they're going to do a better job than me. <laughs> why, why this is extra special from this audience is you see a lot of women in mm. pink here. Mm -hmm. Survivors still in the fight wow. of cancer. Wow. And that is what your music does. In the midst of your hardest challenges in wow. life, like battling cancer, mm -hmm. you put on one of your songs <laughs> and your faith goes up, your confidence goes up. How, how does that, because I get goosebumps thinking about it. <sighs> It, it's just overwhelming. I get overjoyed all the time because my ultimate goal is to make sure that people are pushed towards destiny. They get to know that there is a better life for us all, whether that be yeah. healing, yeah. restoration, whatever you need. And I do my best to make sure you feel that through my music. Oh. You will win. It's yours. You're yeah. bigger. All of that. Yeah. I love it. You know, I feel like we've watched you grow up from a baby. Yes. Well, you were five years old when yes. you started out. You're now 26. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, wearing pink then for y'all. Wearing uh. pink then. She knew. She knew back then. You're now 26. Yes, ma'am. We watched you grow up. Wow. What was it like growing up for you in this spotlight mm -hmm. performing? It was great. I knew from a very young age that this was my calling. This yeah. is what I was born to do. Like, I couldn't get away from it. I was singing all the time in the mirror, singing to the grass. The grass was my crowd. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know that I, that I was literally in preparation for moments like this. Yeah. And so um, it's just, I, I loved it. Like, I just knew that this is what my purpose was, right. to help people through music. You know, and now here you are with a self-titled album. Mm -hmm. It really speaks volumes when an artist says, I'm going to put my name mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. I want my message. Yes. Why were you so intentional in reintroducing yourself four years mm -hmm. since making you know, music mm -hmm. and putting out an album? Why yes. was it so intentional to make sure we knew this was your stamp? Yeah. So much has happened within that four years. Um, and this is literally, oh. this is my life. This is my story. This album, this, these are my conversations that I have with God. And I wanted to to kind of bring everybody in that, but in an impactful way, an inspirational way, because clearly Yahweh has been good. I need mercy. Yeah. Uh, we need the God of war. And, and I just wanted to make sure that people felt that, they see that, and then also they can relate to it as well. Yeah. You've done some amazing collaborations. We just had Maverick City Music mm -hmm. on. Yes. Um, they were fantastic. Pastor Mike Jr. Yes. Uh, it's just as if people, you draw in these, this great energy. Wow. You know, and I think that that, again, speaks to not only your voice and your gift, but how you live your life wow. off camera, mm. that people want to be around you, people want to work with mm -hmm. you. That's a compliment. You know, I tell people all the time, your character takes you a long way. Yes. Now, none of us are perfect, and anyone can do what they do. You can be the most gifted person in the world, yeah. but if no one wants to work with you, <laughs> 
it doesn't <laughs> even matter. So I just try to make sure that people feel love yeah. for me, happiness and joy, because at the end of the day, you guys have walked, walked with me yes. this entire journey. And so mm -hmm. I just want to make sure you guys feel that love and that passion I have for you We all. feel it. We <laughs> feel it. We feel it. Uh, and, I, and I have to say, what I, what I love about your modernness and what you bring to the gospel world is that you're like, I have this voice and I'm led by my faith, but I can rock an outfit. Yes. I can rock a beauty look. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes go on just to see what you're wearing and uh -huh. the beat on the face, the makeup, everything. Thank it's just, you. I, I love the fun that you're bringing to the faith. Thank you. You know, I tell people all the time, um, and this is just me, I, I, my life is layered. Yeah. And one of the things that I love is fashion. This is actually one of my designs that I'm wearing today. Wait, what? So <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. So my ultimate goal is, I don't want any greatness to go to waste. So <laughs> if it's in me, I wanna, I wanna okay. use it. I love fashion, it. beauty, all of well, that. You're and using doing everything it. God yeah. gave you and more. Thank you so much.